Hey, so if you're watching this video, you're probably bored on the hive and want something to do. So I am here to help you with that problem and give you things to do when you're bored in Hive Sky Wars. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. It's so easy and it's free and it really helps out a ton and you really should do it because it's free and I promise you won't regret it. Also like the video because it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and I'd appreciate it a ton. And it took me time to, you know, make this video and give you a bunch of ideas. So, if, you know, like the video, please. It's, you know, right now. Just click it, please. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. The first thing to do on the hive when you're bored is speed run. Try to finish the game as fast as you can, and just win. Just win the game as fast as possible. Speed running is fun, it gives you something to do, and um, you can get good while doing it. It's a great way to practice, and win, and save time, and level up, and just speed run. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. The second thing to do on the hive when you're bored is win streaks. Try to win as many games in a row as you can and beat your own personal record. You can do this on duos, you can do it on squads, you can do it on trios, and you can just try to win. And, oh, that sucks. Win streaks are great because you can keep on trying to beat your own score and you can really not get bored of doing it and try it on all game modes and even Sky Royale, the best game mode. It's, uh, you know, it, it's something to keep you busy. It's pretty good. The next thing to do is make custom game modes. Custom servers are great for that. Uh, for example, Death Tag. Death Tag, if you turn off all the ores, turn off all the chests and stuff, as well as so turn off the chest, ender chest, uh, and the uh, mystery chest, you lower the health down to one, and you also make respawns up to five, and that is Death Tag. It is basically one hit Sky Wars. So if this tree is a person, you punch them, they'll die. And it's a pretty fun custom game mode. And there's other things you can do as well, like my video a long time ago about capture the flag. You can do that kind of game mode in Sky Wars if you have any way to do that. It all really depends on how creative you are. But you can come up with tons of custom game modes and challenges to do in Sky Wars. Okay, so this one is very random and is a stretch, but you can play just build in Sky Wars. I know, I told you this one is very random. But it really does give you something to do if you're bored. If you want to just do something, you can play Just Build. Like, look at this beautiful house. Isn't that just nice? You know, you can do anything, really. You can do it in custom server, play with your friends, or you can build a giant fortress around your island. Tons of things to do and build if you really are bored. Speaking of what I'm doing right now, you can make content. You can either make a YouTube video, like I'm doing, or you can make a Twitch stream. That is probably my biggest advice for how to not be bored, is just make content. It really keeps me going, and even with the dry spell, being able to come up with ideas for content, do live streams, and just chill, and do all that fun stuff, like this video right now, really keeps me going, and makes things less boring. So making content is a great idea. Definitely recommend trying it out if you can, and if you can't, then maybe in the future. But I think it's worth it. It's a great thing to do when you're bored. Another thing to do on the hive when you're bored is have fun with spell books. You have swiftness ones which make you run around like Sonic. You have the fire ones and you can do a bunch of silly things with them like this bridge, like speed bridging. You can just have fun running around, zipping around people, doing speed combos. Even on like Sky Royale, you can just have fun just, you know, playing around with them because why not? And I'm going to die to this person because uh, my armor sucks, so. Another thing to do on your board is try and break your own records. Try to get to, I got 3,000 kills. Try to get to 4,000 kills. Try to get to 1,000 wins. Try and see how many kills you've gotten in a game. If you've gotten 12 kills in a game, or, well, that would be impossible. If you've gotten 11 kills in the game, then, then you're cool. If you haven't, try to get 11 kills in the game. Try a bunch of little things like that and just try to break your own record. It keeps you busy, like win streaks, and you can keep on doing new things. Bonus thing, if you're bored, play Sky Royale. It's... Um, it's uh, yeah, it, 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 it I know you probably don't do it if you watch this if you're watching this video and you play sky royale like consistently Then uh, this tip wouldn't help you But if you're really bored like most of us are just play sky royale You know <laughs> it'll give you something to do and you probably don't play it I would bet money that most of you guys don't play it speaking of sky royale for the next thing you can host a tournament Sky Royale is great for tournaments because you can get an actual winner in a custom server or you can do your own different kind of PvP tournament and like like that. But Sky Royale is great if you're a YouTuber and you have a giant custom server. You can keep track of who wins and they can be like winning the tournament. I used to do a lot of tournaments and they were so much fun to do. 
and they really kept me involved with my community and my community really liked them as well. I def definitely recommend doing tournaments. It is a really fun thing to do and uh, it keeps you occupied and you can just have records, keep track of all the winners and uh, you know, if you've seen my old streams on them, they're a lot of fun. I definitely recommend tournaments. Next thing would be to do quests. There are a bunch of Sky Wars quests in here. You can do them, for example, Sky Wars Trios, Open Ender Chest. You can do that with a few friends. There aren't many Sky Wars ones right now, but Sky Wars quests, they're a great thing to do on your board. You also get quest points and you can get this incredible pizza costume. Wow. Another thing to do on your board is look for random glitches. Custom servers are great for this. You can come in here and you can play around things. That's what I used to do a long time ago with Evident when looking for new traps. Just join a custom server and look around for little things. Try out the new things. When beds came out and they added beds to the game, look out for new things like beds. A bunch of little things and it's definitely worth it. Just coming in here looking for funny glitches and maybe you can even make a video on them and get a bunch of views on the glitch. You know, it's worth it. Another thing you can do is try to come up with really ridiculous traps. The first video I ever did with Evident a long, long time ago, we made a trap where I just sat right here in a cauldron and... Oh. Where I sat here in this cauldron and just knocked someone off coming across this bridge. It was literally just me sitting in a cauldron crouching and I knocked someone off. But yeah, you can come up with crazy traps like that. Next up, try to kill a hacker. This is a, a tough one, but if there are tons of hackers, you see one, try and kill one. If you're a YouTuber, you'll probably get clipped. But if you're not a YouTuber, you probably won't get clipped and they won't use your name for views. So you can try to kill a hacker. And if you do, then you can make a video saying I killed a hacker or just be proud of yourself. You know, either one works fine, but it, it, there you go. It's something to do. You want to do something, kill a hacker. It's it's something to do for, for sure. So if you mine gold, you know, you'll get these. They're pretty funny. They're boom boxes, and you can do funny stuff with them, like jump! And you can do bridges. You can bridge with those boom boxes. You can throw them at people, well, some of them. And they're fun to play- Ah! They're fun to play around with. You can do silly stuff with them. And it's a good thing to do when you're bored. Play with the boom boxes. Another bonus thing that I thought of right now that I didn't actually have on my list is try to get a knockback Nemo, and ha they're pretty fun. Just keep playing until you get a knockback Nemo. Like, maybe I'll get one. Of course not, but I got three sharpness, one swords. That's great. However, the real thing has to do with projectiles. You know how I had boom boxes and said those are fun? You know what else is fun? These things. Try and make a snowball kill montage or something. They're pretty fun. You can just like hit people with them. Ping. Ping. They're funny. And you can do stuff with them when you're bored. And last but not least, the last thing of today's video to do when you're bored see they failed the funny things is the practice pvp you can get good at combos make a combo taj and just get good and it's a fun thing to do is getting good is fun so i'm gonna jump directly into my outro if you enjoyed today's video or are less bored now subscribe or you literally have to it's part of the rules just subscribe and uh hopefully you're less bored now and if you're not less bored then you're just a boring person ah uh, i'm kidding i'm that's a joke but Hopefully, for real, these things did help you feel less bored. But yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe! That was great. Bye, guys.